hello and welcome to this third video on syllogism so i hope you watched my previous video on the concepts of venn diagrams for syllogism so in this video we'll look at the concept of minimum overlap and we will solve a few problems so let's get started so first things first so by now i hope that you have a very good understanding of the different possibilities for each of these four types of statements in deductive logic so if let's say somebody says there is a particular affirmative statement and the statement is let's say some a's are b's there are four possibilities for this as we discussed so you could say this is one way to represent it this is your a this is your b you can say you can also represent it like this you can also represent it like this this is b this is a and then you can also say that this could also be a comma b which is a is equal to b so these are all the four possible cases now these are all possibilities but when we talk about this concept of minimum overlap we should say okay where is the minimum overlap i think here you can see is the minimum overlap similarly if you were to say okay if you have a problem statement let's say you have saying all a's are b's so the possible cases are a could be here and b could be here it could also be that a is equal to b but this is the minimum overlap case so that means it's important to say that hey while there are so many possibilities but when we start solving the problems we should probably draw only one so that it doesn't become very cumbersome so let's take an example and understand this more so if let's say you were given these two premises all cats are bears and no cat is a dog and they are asking you to conclude if you can say that no bear is a dog okay so how will we go about this problem so we will say okay first i will try to say this is what type of statement this is a universal affirmative type of statement so for a universal affirmative type of statement there are two possibilities what are those possibilities so let's draw those two possibilities here so the two possibilities are one is so we are saying all the cat, cats are bears okay so this is c inside and b here bear okay all the cats are bears this is one possibility what is the other case we can also say that this can be c comma b that means c equals to b these are two possible cases from this statement now second statement says no cat is a dog now this is what type of a format this is a universal negative type of a statement now this means there are two disjoint sets right this is what it means c and d but you will always notice that when you have to draw conclusions there are three terms that means there's a common term that means there is a overlap and that is exactly the merging what we have to do so that means with these two statements i have to put this diagram on this right because that's how these two merge to see whether that we can come to a conclusion so now let's merge this diagram so it says no cat is a dog if i were to merge this diagram here so it says no cat is a dog so no cat is a dog now that means dog and cat are disjoint circles now what does that mean that means you can either put it here and this is the minimum overlap condition cat and dog they are separate so while this is correct representation you can also say how about this this still follows no the condition because you are saying cats and dogs are disjoint circles still cats and dogs are not disjoint it's not validating it's not like this statement is invalid this is also a true representation now how about this this is also a true representation so while this is the minimum overlap condition this these are all possible cases right these are all possibilities similarly let's look at here now for the second diagram also we will look at this merging so it says no cat is a dog no cat is a dog that means cat and uh, bear are the same circle but it says no cat is a dog that means the only other case is here because it cannot merge or anything because all cats is equal to bears and there is no overlap between cat and dog so this is the only possible case now now comes the important element of saying what is a conclusion and what is a possibility now these are all possibilities but we have to understand this there is a difference between a possibility and a conclusion that means all these are various possibilities but a conclusion is what a conclusion if this has to be a conclusion 
it has to be true in all the different possible cases that means let's say the question says no bear is a dog can i say no bear is a dog so it is a possibility right so it is true as per this case but what about the case where we are saying no bear is a dog but what about this case what about this case in these two cases there is a overlap but it says no bear is a dog so that means while it is true in this case as well as this case it is not true in both these cases but for a conclusion it has to be true in all the possible cases that means i can say this is not a true conclusion and that is very important to note so if this question was being a dog is a possibility this would be true but if it's a conclusion if it's a conclusion and that's what they are asking it has to be true in all the cases so that's the concept of minimum overlap so i hope you understood this let's solve a few questions now okay so the first statement says no chair is a table okay so how many possible diagrams for this very easy no chair is a table okay and it says no so there is only one possibility to draw this right this is universal negative type of statement so two disjoint circles similarly it says no table is a sofa no table is a sofa so the minimum overlap condition is that sofa is here but you can also say that sofa can be here you can also say that sofa may also be here you can also say that sofa is here as well these are all possible cases right we look at all possible cases and then come and think about the conclusion so let's look at our conclusions conclusion says can we say all chairs are sofas all chairs are sofas so in this case when s is this for example s is the bigger circle all chairs are sofas is actually true in this case but what about this case if this was c and this was s this is chair this is sofa this is not true so in this case all chairs are sofas this is also not true here and this is also not true here but the good thing about conclusions is that even if it's not true in one of the case we don't need to check more that means because here in this case chairs and sofas it was invalid you don't have to worry you can just go ahead and say this is not valid you cannot draw that conclusion let's look at the second one it says all chairs are not sofas can we say all chairs are not sofas so for example in this case so according to this case it is true because all chairs are not sofas is same as no chair is a sofa so this is true in this case but what about this case what about this case and what about this case it's not valid so that means the moment you see that it's not valid in one of the case only you can say it's not valid so what will we say we'll say neither one nor two we cannot draw either of the conclusions okay let's move to the next question so the next question says all windows are needles so how will we do let's say window is w needle is n and tree is t so again this is a universal affirmative type of statement that means there are only two possibilities so we can say all windows are needles we can represent this through this or we can also represent this through windows comma needles right this is also one case so these are two possible cases okay now it says some trees are windows so now it says some trees are windows so if i have to say some trees are windows instead of drawing all the possible cases you will draw just one case some trees are windows so we can say some trees are windows this is the minimum overlap case right some trees are windows what is the other possible some trees are windows can be this trees are windows right now this is the minimum overlap diagram however you should think about all the possible cases in your head right without necessarily drawing it here so for example if let's say i were to think about all the possible cases i can say some trees are windows meaning the trees can also be here no this is also one case and trees can also be this case right trees can also be like that or this whole thing also no because ultimately it says trees and windows there is some overlap at least one meaning it could be all also right so these are all possible cases similarly here 
trees could be here but trees could also be here as well right so similarly all these cases so it says some trees are needles so can we draw from here that some trees are needles some trees are needles so here is this correct is this correct is this correct yes some trees are needles so in this case it is correct some trees are needles some trees are needles so i think in all the possible cases it is valid therefore it is a correct conclusion let's look at this one some trees are not needles some trees are not needles in this case some trees are not needles but what about this case some trees are not needles it's not true because all the trees are needles and the good thing about conclusion is even if it's not true in one of the case you can go ahead and reject it that means only statement one so you can go ahead and mark this as your answer and i would urge you to if you've looked at my first video on syllogism where we discuss this without venn diagrams i would urge you to try it through that method also so that you can see that your answers are coming similar okay so let's look at the last question so it says no bird is a mammal so let's draw this this is a universal negative case so we will this is very simple no birds are mammals okay so we can draw like that it says some birds are cats some birds are cats so the minimum overlap diagram it can we can say c is like that right so it says can we draw from this some cats are not mammals some cats at least that means at least one cat is not a mammal can i say at least one cat is not a mammal yeah, look at this cat is this cat a mammal in fact none of the cat is mammal but let's look at all the cases because this is just the minimum overlap diagram how about this case if we say this is c can i say at least one cat is not a mammal yes what about this this that means this case is it, this is cat but it's not a mammal right now what about this case in this case also can i say at least one cat is not a mammal yeah in fact none of the cat is a mammal right so because cat and birds have a overlap and birds and mammals are disjoint this condition is always true right okay let's look at the second condition it says no cats are mammals can i say not a single cat is a mammal not a single cat is a mammal now in this case it is correct in this case it is correct but what about this case it is not correct that means i cannot draw this so we can say only one follows so i hope you now have a good understanding of the minimum overlap concept so thanks for watching the video and i look forward to seeing you in the next video